Hello friends, in this video I will tell you how to solve the BJT uh, question. So this is our BJT bipolar junction transistor which is having a feedback in uh, which is having a Gina diode in feedback. Okay, some resistances are also connected. So let's uh, go for the question. So a transistor circuit is given below the, uh, the Gina diode breakdown voltage is 5.3. Okay, Gina diode voltage is 5.3 is given to you in figure also. Uh, take base to emitter voltage drop 0 0.6 volt. Uh, the value of the current gain beta so beta you need to calculate okay you need to calculate the current gain that is depends on your uh, beta is equals to ic by ib uh, ib okay and this is our uh, circuit so it is having Gina diodes in uh, feedback some resistances are also connected this is the rc 220 ohm and uh, re emitter resistance 470 ohm and this is the feedback resistance 4.7 kilo ohm so uh, so this whole circuit operation will depend on your Zener diode operation okay means how your Zener diode is working it's depend on means the whole circuit operation will depend on this Zener diode because if this will tell what will what potential will be applied at the base terminal so let's proceed so before starting please like and subscribe my channel so first we will revise the operation of Zener diode because uh, this is the main uh, thing in our circuit which will tell how our uh, BJT is going to work. So basically Gina diode is also called as breakdown diode. So this is a uh, representation, circuit re circuit representation of the Gina diode. Okay. So when Gina diode means this VI is less than this VZ. VZ. Okay. Here Gina diode voltage is called VZ. So VI is less than VZ. So this, this will work as open circuit. Okay, this will work as open circuit. So, if there is any uh, RL means load resistance here, if any load resistance is connected, so if you want to uh, calculate the voltage at this point, okay, across this at this point, so that will be V naught multiplied with 10k divided by RL. If you, this is your RL, okay, RL divided by RL plus 10k means we are uh, at this potential. If we talk about this is VZ. Gener potential so Vz is equals to V naught multiplied with this 10k divided by 10k plus RL means potential divider you will apply okay so we call it in off state if the reverse bias voltage uh, across the Gener diode is less than Vz Vi is less than Vz the Gener diode is in off state okay it will called in off state under such a state the Gener diode can be replaced by a open circuit so we already replaced it open circuit okay OC now if vi is greater than vz when the reverse bias voltage across a Gener diode is equal to or higher than the breakdown voltage vz the current increasingly means which is basically we call it that it will uh, go in breakdown condition okay so the current increase very sharply and uh, voltage across the Gena diode is constant at vz irrespective of the change in the current through it okay through it through it so current means across it whatever current is flowing if it is increasing it doesn't matter the voltage will be vz okay vz vz it will not change okay so therefore in uh, therefore in breakdown reason the ideal general diode act as a battery of voltage vz and the energy diode is said to be on state okay so this is your on state and we are representing is at uh, as uh, battery and we are calling it vz okay the battery potential is vz it will be constant although vi is increasing constantly the current is flowing is also increasing but this vz will uh, this vz will not change and the value of vz in our numerical is given to you 5.3 volt this is our circuit okay we can see here the circuit the uh, Gina diode is connected at the feedback 5.3 volt is uh, as you know because vcc is 10 volts so due to dc biasing of 10 volt Gina diode is, uh, diode is in breakdown region therefore it is replaced by a constant voltage so vz is equals to 5.3 as i already told you in a revision of the Gina diode vb is given to you 0 0.6 volt so we know vz value and vb value okay so vz is here vb is here so we can easily calculate the ie this is the ie so applying kvl at node a this is our node a so i am applying kvl okay like this so 5.3 minus vb minus ie re okay this is a meter branch so current will uh, across this will called it emitter current ie so 5.3 minus 0 0.6 minus ie multiplied with 470 ohm so here we will solve it so we will get ie is equals to 10 milliampere because 5.3 minus 
zero point six will uh, become four point seven divided by four seventy ohm. So four uh, ten milli ampere. This will become ten milli ampere. Now, uh, now find the I X value. Okay. So we already know zero point five milli ampere is flowing in this branch. So we need to calculate this uh, this value. Okay, we need to calculate this value. So we already know the potential at this terminal that is 5.3 volt. So 10 minus 5.3 divided by 4.7 k. Okay, 10 minus 5.3 divided by 4.7 k. So we will able to know this current. This is I am calling it I x. Okay, I am calling it I x. So I x is equals to 10 minus 5.3 divided by 4.7 a. So this will become 1 my 1 milli ampere. Okay, so now I know I x value. I know uh, this uh, the current across general diode that is 0 0.5 milli ampere. So if you want to calculate this base current, this is this current I B. If you want to calculate this I B, consider this is I B. So I B is equals to 1 minus 0 0.5. This is incoming current. This is outgoing outgoing. So incoming minus this outgoing will give you this outgoing so 1 minus 0 0.5 is equals to 0 0.5 milli ampere so now you know uh, 0 0.5 milli ampere that base current is 0 point you know ie and you know uh, ib value okay so here <coughs> so here you already got it ib value and ie value okay now ie is equals to 1 plus beta ib okay you know the formula hopefully ic is equals to 1 plus because IE is equals to IC plus IB and IC will become beta IB okay so IB can be taken out and beta plus 1 okay so beta plus 1 divided by IE by YB so 10 milli ampere and 0 0.5 milli ampere will give you beta plus 1 20 now beta will become 90 so this will be your answer okay guys so I hope you got it how to solve such kind of question so if you like it please like and subscribe my channel Thank you very much.